Hi everyone, Nathan here again with another Adobe Lifecycle tutorial. Today we want to look at how to create an expanding table in Lifecycle that also does calculations. And so later on the screen here we have just a basic table. We already have our buttons to make the rows expand and we have three columns besides our button column first name, last name, and amount. And what we want to do with this table is create a footer row uh, that that create a footer row that adds up all the values in the amount column as we add rows to our table and add amounts to that column. And so in order to do this we need to make a few changes to this table and create some custom settings and add a little bit of code into the form. So first of all let's format the rows that we have. Right now we have three columns besides our button column and these two columns are set to text fields and our last column needs to be set to a numeric field and for this example we're going to use currency as the display pattern. Now the reason I'm doing that is because I, I don't want the end user to have to type in dollar signs and decimal points. I want that to automatically f format as they enter in a value. And so just to make sure it's working correctly, in our first name field we have text and in our amount field I can't type in text even though I'm trying to type in something from my keyboard but I can type in a number. And so I don't have to type in the dollar sign and the decimal it goes there for me. If I want to enter cents I can type in 125 and 15 cents by hitting a decimal and the amount is there. Okay so how to do calculations now we formatted our row and we now want to add a footer row that has a subtotal or a total field uh, right directly underneath the amount. And So to do that we need to come over here to our hierarchy and if you notice we have a header row and a body row the icons indicate what, the, what type of row they are. We need to right click on our bottom body row and insert a row below. When we do that, it just mimics everything we have in row one already. So we want to first change the name to footer row to distinguish between row one and the bottom. And then we want to change the attributes of this row by coming over here to the row itself, highlighting it on the hierarchy, and coming over here to our object highlight. And instead of it being a body row, we want to make it a footer row. And so once we do that, the icon changes to the red on bottom display icon. Now, of course, in this row, we don't need four columns. We only need the one right column, or we need the one right column and maybe one column here for our caption that would say totals. So what I want to do is I want to highlight all those three columns and merge these cells together by right-clicking and hit Merge Cells. Then I can make this, it already is set to be a text box and I can give it a value of totals with a colon and I can make it right justified with a little bit of room like so. Now this field is also set to text box and we don't want that. We want that set to a numeric field like the column ahead of it. And inside of this we're going to put a calculation to add up all the amounts that we have in our amount fields as the table grows. And so this is the one time I found that using form calc is better than using JavaScript because in this example it takes one line of code in form calc whereas in JavaScript it took me a couple lines of code to get this to work. So on the event we want to choose we have this cell we'll call this total our total cell. We have that highlighted and up in our script editor we want to choose the event calculate and if we have our default language set in our form properties as JavaScript of course we'll need to change this so that it would be form calc. And now all we need to do here is type one little right line of code. A string string raw value 
equals, meaning the viral value of this cell equals, and we're going to do a calculation, a sum of table one, row one, and then brackets, star, brackets, dot cell four. Now what did I just tell this? What is it? Let's, let's explain what this means. We're making a sum of every row one cell four in our table. And if you remember, as we add rows to the table and it expands, each row in the body is a carbon copy of row one. And so it's named row one, but it's named row one bracket zero, row one bracket two, one, row, row one bracket two, uh, you know, on into infinity. And so as we keep adding rows, to our table, they're all called row one with a sub number. They're all a part of the instance manager, if you remember from the other videos, and we're adding instances of row one. And so we want all the row ones, however many there ends up being, to be a part of our calculation. And that's what form calc is, um, is easier to write this calculation in form calc than it is in JavaScript. Because we can't predict exactly how many rows the person is going to add. He might add 30, he might add 5. We don't know, and so in our in our calculation, this star represents however many there are. Add them all up, and so now, just for a quick test, we'll preview, and we'll put an, an amount in there, and we get that 15 coming down. But we don't have any formatting, and we haven't added any rows yet. So in order to do that, let's add the same formatting to this field as we had to the amount field here. We want it centered and our display pattern is of course currency